Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 347, top K frequency uh, elements. So given a non-empty array of integer, return a K most frequent elements. So you can see example one numbers have one, 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 two, two, three. So one, we have three uh, frequency, two have two, then the top two will be one and two. Uh, integer with their top frequency. So now we have one, and then the top one will be one, and there's no other numbers in here. So in here, we assume that, I mean, you can assume that K is always valid. You don't need to check Ks. And also the order, I believe, um, let's see. So the order of the word is the same matter. Okay, right here. So now we don't need to, if they have the same frequency, we don't need to care about uh, which one's output first. So in here, it could be two or one, one or two. So in this example, it's really good to practice what is uh, priority queue. And this question's asked by uh, Capital One, Facebook, Amazon. So let's review the uh, hash map and priority queue, and how to write it. So the idea is really simple. So now in this situation, we have a hash map that capture one is an integer and appear three time, two appear two time, three only one time. So this is all the element inside this array. So now this is a map. So this every key value pairs is called entry, map entry. So now we have a priority queue right here and we prioritize the one that have a bigger value first. So we put this um, entry right here because we have, we prioritize this one, we'll have one, three. Now it's here and we have two, two. They are in the entry and three, one is the last in this queue. So now we have this one at the beginning, then we output this one, we output K, we have K, right? Which is two in here. So I'll, I mean, we take out two from this queue, which is one, three, and we'll output, I mean, we put this uh, key value into the output array in here. And also this, another one. So put two in there. So that's it. So let's take a look at that code. It's pretty straightforward that we'll have. First, we need a map. As we say, we have integer, integer, so frequency, call map. Now we have, <clears throat> we look through every integer inside the nums and make sure map.put. So map.put is like this. We put one in here, which is I, and map.get or is it default. So now if they don't have one, for example, they see one right here. If they don't have one, they put zero in here and plus one. Default is zero. So first they make one frequency zero and plus one as the appearance. So now second time you see it, we have one and one and we get this uh, value I, which is one, one in here, plus one. And we come to when this second time seeing, seeing one. So we keep updating the frequency for the one in the map. So now we have the map built up. Cool. So this uh, map in here, it's already built up. Priorities next. Priority queue that will take in um, map dot entry. The entry will have integer 
an integer type. This is type of the priority. We make it call PQ is equal to a new priority. Priority Q. Um, now we have a condition to make it A and B. So how do we prioritize it? So now if A and B, I want it to B dot get value minus A value. A dot get value. What it means is now the bigger one, which is B, is in the beginning. So we can see the priority queue like this. This is the queue. And I want the bigger one going from the, the beginning of the queue. B minus A is the bigger, bigger one. So from for Q, Q will have the beginning going out first, first in, first out, like this. Then we'll get the maximum value of B, then it's sorted in this order. So now this is built up and we will put, have a for loop map dot entry, entry um, in the map dot get um, entry set. So we look through the whole entire map ent entry and we'll have this every every entry called entry right here. And we'll put the entry into the priority queue. PQ. So now we put the, every entry inside the priority queue. We need to look K time or I equal to I less than K. First of all, so we need to have a int output is equal to new int k. And we look through this k time that will put output i equal to pq pool. Pool is pulling the first element in the front. And what we need is get their key. That's how we put the information in the output array. At the end, we have the output array built up Then return output. Okay, cool. Pretty good. And that's it for this question. Thank you so much. If you have any question, please comment it below. Uh, feel free to ask Amy ask me any questions and I think this is really important because it's really really useful to solve most of the question that might uh, have the condition to sorting. So priority queue is good to deal with those problems. So it's good to practice it and you see often asked by most of the company. So I will see you next time. Bye.